Hello everyone, I'm Zhou Zeling from Big Bridge Academy. And today my topic is which investment reap the future. So you may say that what? Investment? What should we know about investment? You know, we are not stockholders, we are not real estate investors. So why do we need to learn about investment? But actually, investment is not such a mysterious thing. Investment is all around us. Do you know who this man is? Yeah, he is Warren Buffett, one of the most famous investors in the world. And he has once said that people make investing seem more difficult than it should. Yeah, that is really correct. So, why Buffett say that? In order to figure out this question, we need first to look at this question. What is investment? In Wikipedia, the concept of investment is like this. We pay something that we already have in order to get something better in the future. So, based on this concept, here are list three most common investments in our daily life. First is education, second, diet, and third is asset allocation. So first I want to introduce about education. Um, you may ask, what? Education is also an investment? I just study for my parents, I study for my teacher, I study for their happiness, and or even just avoid their punishment if I don't study very well. So, is it really true that we study for them? Absolutely not. We study for ourselves. So why do we study? We pay some time and some money to the school. We have classes in the school. We even can take some online classes after school in order to get some knowledge in the future and broaden our horizons and then become a successor in the future. So in this concept, education is, of course, a kind of investment. So let's move on to diet. Look at the background picture. You may say, uh, they are all vegetables and fruits. They just, look at, just looking at them make me disgusting. Um, but although they taste really disgusting, but why do people still go on diet? They go on diet in order to keep their good body shape or even to get a better health condition. So, in this case, we endure the food that we don't like in order to keep health. So going on a diet is also an investment. To be honest, um, I also went on a diet once when I was in primary school. Um, in primary school, I was very fat, although I'm also very fat now, but in primary school, I'm much fatter. Um, so when looking at my weight, I kind of Oh my gosh, uh, I'm so fat. So I decided to go on a diet. Um, after months, I, I ate the food that we, I don't like. But finally, I find out that my weight has decreased a lot. And I became much healthier. So I'm quite satisfied with this experience. And I thought that it is my first investment experience. Because in the past, I just did whatever I wanted to do and ate whatever I wanted to eat. Um, I didn't worry about the future at all. But after this experience, I find out that in order to get something better in the future, I must do something right now. So here we come to asset allocation the most common thing that we are coming at you in, into our mind when we talk about investment. So here are three most common, um, common parts of asset allocation. 
First is real estates, second, the stock market, and the third, cash. So first, I want to talk about real estates. Real estates is kind of you buy a house, and after several years, you hope the house price will increase so that you can earn money. So here is a picture about the house price in Tokyo. You can see that if I give you 30 years and you invest in a house in Tokyo, um, the blue line is the house price of Tokyo. So 30 years ago, the house price of Tokyo is about 1 million and 500 yen per kilo, kilo per meter. Um, so now the house price is only 500,000 yen per square meter. So your property decreased by three times. But if fortunately you invest the house in China, so 30 years ago that China's house price is maybe only 400 yuan per square meter, but now it's 6,400 6, yuan per kilometer, per square meter, sorry. So your property increased by 16 times. So from the above two examples, we can see that the decisions that we made about investing in real estates can really influence our outcomes. So what factors should we, dis should we consider when we are making decisions? The first one is the population. Whether the population is rapidly increasing, if the population is increasing, the demand is increasing, so of course the house price will increase. The second factor is the government's policies. Whether the government is supporting the real estate market or not. So we need to think twice before we make decisions. So the second part is stock market. Stock market is kind of um, the company will give you some of its stocks and if the company earns money, you also earn money. So here are also two pictures about stocks. One is Guizhou Mao Tai and the other is Zhongguo Shihua. You can see that if I give you one million dollars and give you 10 years, if you fortunately invested in Guizhou Mao Tai, your property would increase from 40 yuan per share to almost 1,000 yuan per share. Your property, your property increased by 25 times. But if you unfortunately invested in Zhongguo Shihua, the, then your property would decrease by three times. So like in real estate markets, our decision really influenced the outcome. But what factors should we consider in stock markets? Um, we should not only consider whether the company is operating smoothly, um, whether the company has a bright future, but also consider whether the company will have any crisis in the future that will really help when we are making decisions. So then let's move on to cash. You may ask, what? Cash is also a kind of investment? I don't think so, because if I put 100 yuan here, after 1,000 yuan or even 1 million yuan, 100 yuan is still 100 yuan. Its price didn't increase at all. So why do I say that cash is kind of investment? Um, in fact, cash is really important when we meet some economic crisis. Just give you an example. Um, if in economic crisis, I have used up all my cash on my hands and I can't buy foods, so, but I still have a house. I can sell the house, right? But you know, it is in economic crisis. Who wants to buy the house knowing that its price will definitely go down in just maybe just a month or just a year? So I can't sell out the house quickly and I can't get cash. So maybe I will starve to death. That's the importance of cash in economic crisis. Um, more importantly, when we have cash after the economic crisis, the property's price would definitely go down. And maybe we can buy those low-priced properties in order to hope, hope them 
that their price would definitely go um, increase in the future. So that's so cash gives us much opportunity after the economic crisis. Um, after saying the asset allocation, I want to I want to say that although we are still students now and we are not investors, but in my opinion, investing is kind of a lifelong thing that we need to learn in our whole life. So why don't we start investing right now after the speech? Maybe we can be a, become a successful investor like um, Warren Buffett in the future. So next time when you get some lucky money in Spring Festival, don't give it to your parents so that they can take care of it for you. You can do investments in order to use those money more efficiently. So I've just introduced Warren Buffett, but does anyone know who this man is? Yeah, he's Charlie Munger. Um, he is one of the best partner of Warren Buffett and also a um, very successful investor. And Munger once said that the best thing a human being can do is to help another human being no more. It is this sentence that encouraged me to stand here and speak out my own voice. And I hope that after this speech, not only I, but also we can influence more people to reach investment, reap the future. Thank you.